Happy 2024, guys. I hope everyone had a great 2023. I'm currently down with COVID, so my voice is really, really bad, but that's not the important part of this video. I'm starting year great with being sick. I had some leftover fabric at home. I was thinking in my head, like, what's a real quick cosplay that I can make with this blue leather? And I walked past the mall, and I think Moss Burger was having some kind of collaboration with One Piece, and I saw Mikko Robin. I brought this costume with me when I was guesting in Manila for Cosplay Matsuri, and I wore it on stage, and it was honestly one of the most relaxing costumes I've had in a while. This costume took me about one to two days to make, mostly because I had to paint the details and designs on. But other than that, it's a really quick costume, so here's a video. This is the pleather that I had, and it is a four-way stretch fabric. Perfect for making a jacket that's meant to be super tight on your top. Cut out the pieces and add some darts to the side of the chest. Because this is a One Piece character and they have major bosoms and crazy body figures, I did not take any measurements when I was making this costume. The plan was to wear two bras and pray. Draft out the pattern for your sleeves and cut it out. Now that I think about it, this is my first time making a short sleeve costume. I prefer to sew the seams on the sleeves before I attach it onto the main piece. The collar is divided into two trapeze shapes. I also made it double layered so you won't get to see the ugly black insides of the fabric. I'm really proud with the seam work on this so I'm just showing you. God, look at that. I cannot find a silver zip for the life of me, so here's a blue one. Attaching this open-ended zip from the bottom all the way to the top of the collar. Here's a little tip when working with sticky fabrics like pleather. You can lubricate your fabric by adding some moisturizer so that it goes seamlessly underneath your sewing machine. The other way is to put a tissue paper on top of the fabric that you're going to sew. But personally, I prefer this method with a moisturizer. It removes the hassle of having to peel the tissue paper off the fabric in the end. And I cannot stress this enough, always use your stretch stitch on fabric that needs to be stretched. I have so many Taobao costumes come to me and they do not use a stretch stitch and it just rips when I'm trying to wear it. This is a small little costume test and it's looking pretty good! Oh, if you're trying to zip it up then it does not look good. Now it's time to work on the skirt or bandage skirt wrap thingy. I found the little tassels at Spotlight and I was really lucky for that. I didn't take much progress for the skirt because it's really just a huge square piece of pink fabric and the tassels. And this is how it looks like before the painting. <laughs> it's so fun to touch. Now before we begin the long progress of painting, we have to first sketch out the design so we don't mess up. After sketching, I made sure to paint the pattern with a white base so that the color will be as vibrant as it can be. It was honestly so much work. Using different brushes to get different strokes and making sure I do not go over the line. The green shade was a little special and I don't have this paint color. So I had to mix a 3 to 1 ratio of teal, white, and yellow. I had absolutely no idea where my painting palette went. So I used my tin foil plate. Don't come at me. I was done with the leaves so now we're moving on with the flower. I had my dinner and guess what? It's Moss Burger. <clears throat> not sponsored. Honestly, the packaging is so cute, I just had to show it. Moving on to outline the entire pattern with black lines. And there's my cat. up on certain parts so I just used white paint as correction tape and repainted over that. 
added some shadows and some glitter to make it pop. And we move on to painting the jacket, which was honestly really, really scary because I can't mess this up. I can't. I had to draw the outlines for this first so I know what I was doing. And this color was a little interesting too. I used about a 5 to 1 ratio of white to blue. And once it's done painting with all the shadows, ta-da! This is the final look of the outfit before I trim the threads and it looked really good. I am surprised that the painting works so well. When I made this costume, I took zero measurements. But it worked out fine! It, it did take me a while to get this done though. I'm gonna be pumping out a few more costumes this year. I have a few costumes planned. I have Yuffie from Final Fantasy that I'm currently working on. I could show you guys a little bit of it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this helped and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. See ya. Thank you for watching. Bye. <coughs> <coughs> Oh my god, I hate Colvin.